we've got some shelves. Now we need a place to work. So I'm putting together a little workshop and while I need a good place to work, I also need to be able to park a vehicle in the space when I'm not actively working. And just like with the shelves, this video isn't intended to be a tutorial or a how-to. Definitely a little bit more like a vlog or learn from my mistakes. And don't worry, I, I definitely made some mistakes again. If you are looking to build a workbench similar to this one, I used Matt Meckham's design more or less. I, I added a few features to make it work for me, and I'll leave a link to his video in the description below. Let's make sure I cut all these pieces to the right size. Nice. But wait, what will he use to join the pieces? It's deck screws. Some of the things I learned after building the shelves, of course, would be the value of pre-drilling. You'll also see me using a couple of squares here to try to hold these pieces in a perfect 90 degree angle for the butt joint, but I would definitely recommend using a right angle clamp for this purpose. I believe the technical term for boards being warped this way is that they are crook. After testing it on both sides, I decided that I would just go ahead and switch it. That seems to be a little bit better. Because I'm piecing this project together in sections, I'm very concerned that if I don't get this first piece nice and square, that it will just cascade into problems in other areas. Unfortunately, I don't have a nice flat workspace because I haven't finished working on this bench yet. It's kind of like trying to find your glasses. I don't know if a frame this size and then the three quarter inch plywood that I'm going to be putting on top of it would actually need a center brace, but it's definitely not going to hurt anything. Great, it's racked, twisted, warped. I don't know, it's not right. Guess I'll just press on. So another tip here is when you're trying to do even a butt joint and you want to screw through to that second piece of wood, it's gonna move around a whole lot. So it's just a lot easier to do it with clamps. At this point, I start to think that maybe I'm just pushing forward a little too quickly. So I checked level on that first one. I come over to set up for this second one and I just really don't like how this is twisted. Hmm. Yeah, no, let's undo that. 
My hope is that if I put the top piece on, it will help to kind of straighten everything out and make it a bit more square. I get a couple of screws in to hold it in place. And then this time I actually measure for my hole placements because it's gonna be the top and I want it to look nice. Now when I try to attach the legs, I'll have a nice square piece on the bottom and hopefully the frame will be less twisted so they should sit a bit more even. Now I cut this footage up to make this part go a little bit quicker, but what you're not seeing is I do actually use the level to try to make sure these are good and straight. Adding something along the legs like this is called a stretcher and it helps to give it a little bit more support from potentially twisting. Frequently people will add this type of piece a little bit further up. I decided to put it at the bottom so I could put another piece of plywood on it as a low shelf with lots of potential storage and it would also give me a little bit more surface area at the bottom of the legs to be able to attach some casters. Again, after some of the issues with the first project, I discovered that measuring these types of pieces to fit would end up working out a lot better than hoping that I executed all of the previous steps perfectly. Now let's measure for that lower shelf. What was that first number again? After getting my measurements, I set up this piece of plywood and my cutting edge in order to cut it to the right size. But right at this moment, I realized that I have not accounted for the cutting space here. So I've got to readjust. And then I realized that I adjusted in the wrong direction and I have to do it again. Okay, for real this time. Now at this point I was getting pretty tired and frustrated and my camera died yet again. So I did not get any footage of me actually attaching this lower shelf to the workbench itself. I also apparently didn't get any footage of myself putting the casters on. Overall, another pretty simple build. Having this thing on casters means that I can use it for all types of purposes and I can get it out of the way when I need to. Really great. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.